Hello, and welcome to this short PowerPoint presentation of benzopyrene production in foods. In this presentation, we will be looking at defining benzopyrene, identifying to see which food sources and forms of production contain and generate benzopyrene. We will try to also identify the means by which people contract lenzopyrene and the effects it causes. And finally, we will try to locate any easy-to-use steps to prevent contracting or limiting the production of benzopyrene. Benzopyrene is a yellow crystalline aromatic hydrocarbon that is a carcinogen found in coal, tar, and cigarettes. It falls in the category of polycyclic hydrocarbons, or PAHs. It is mostly formed during the incomplete combustions of pyrolysis, of organic material also known as charcoal grilling, and considered to be one of the more widespread contaminants. Benzopyrene can also be found in a large quantity of foods. It can be found in cereal, for instance, when drying uses direct application of combustion gases. Other food sources, such as vegetables, including kale or fruits, can contain benzopyrene as a result of air pollution. Other common produces that are affected by benzopyrene air pollution are wheat and rye. The most common source of benzopyrene food contamination occurs when air pollution rests on crops. Farms that are in neighboring areas of industrial plants are more at risk of generating crops with benzopyrene. For the average person who does not live on or near a farm or an industrial plant, benzopyrene could still be contracted by a very common holiday activity. Heat processing such as roasting, smoking, and the all-American 4th of July favorite, grilling. Who doesn't enjoy a good cookout during the 4th of July weekend? I know I do, and most, if not all, of Americans do too. However, grilling foods accounts for the second highest means of contracted benzopyrene. Nonetheless, there are some parameters that need to be present before creating benzopyrene. First of all, PAH begin to form when the heating process exceeds 350 degrees Celsius. And cooking using heat conduction, such as electric baking or broiling, will not typically generate benzopyrene. But for the grilling expert who loves to grill, here are a few things to consider. During the heating process of grilling, there are two factors that promote benzopyrene production, fuel source and fat. The most common grilling fuel is coal. When fat from the cooking meat falls on the coal, pyrolysis occurs, which jump starts the production of benzopyrene. So the more fat falling on the fuel source, the more PAH are generated. And the fuel source with the higher concentration of benzopyrene production is pine cone. Benzopyrene can be contracted by three means. Inhalation, ingestion, or skin contact. The most common is inhalation, for obvious reasons. Some harmful effects are respiratory tract, gastrointestinal or skin irritation. Prolonged exposure to benzopyrene has been known to cause cancer. Nonetheless, there are a few things that people can do to limit their exposure to benzopyrene, such as washing foods thoroughly, eating less charred food, using aluminum foils during cooking and grilling, and limiting exposure to open flames. On a governmental scale, governmental regulations on smog and other pollutants 
aid in limiting the onset of benzopyrene on food sources. Thank you for watching this short presentation. I hope this presentation has shed some light on benzopyrene and its involvement in our foods. But more importantly, I hope it allows us to better protect ourselves from possible exposure. Thank you.